Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Always great to get off to a good start in conference play. Time for some early season action in the ACC. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Sunshine State is home to Dope Campbell Stadium. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They hand it off. Brought down at the 35-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. They give to the tailback. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 35. That makes it second and 10. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's going to try and scramble. They'll make the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That makes it third and 11. Third and 11. Ball on the 33 yard line. Fires out to his wide out. Good open field tackle. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From their own 43 yard line. Second down. Open receiver, no good. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled around the 43 yard line. Well, that'll happen when you blitz the corner and the offense picks up the blitz. It's one less guy the quarterback has to worry about in coverage. Nice read by the quarterback to keep the drive going. Here's the eighth play of the series. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. 
Ball on the 40-yard line. Ready! Run, 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 run. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll bring up third and four. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Scrambling around. They bring him down. This kid just doesn't stop. That's his second sack of the game. When you talk about a dominant lineman, this is the kind of guy you're talking about. He's got two sacks today. He can bring constant pressure. Really just a nightmare for the big boys up front. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Four down, four down. Right, two. Watch two. Watch two. Deep pass to the end zone. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. Quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They bring him down in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. He's going to go for the home run. Incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. And he's taken down around the 41-yard line. Gilmore gains about five yards on the play. Brooks is back deep to return the punt. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 40. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. Lays him out. That'll make it second and four. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Watch one. Watch one. Ready. Watch 80. Watch. He's on the run. And he's going to be sacked. They're really having a tough time slowing down this pass rush. And this freshman quarterback is learning very quickly who to watch out for. We played one quarter. Still no score. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Back screen, incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. 
They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Safety. How about that for the defense coming through? That's a huge play by these guys. Forcing a safety to give your team the lead and get the ball back is what some of these defensive players dream of. made at the 46 yard line and for scales he certainly made an impact well any coach loves to have a defensive leader who just knows the scheme inside now he's really an extension of the coaching staff and like having a coordinator out in the huddle he can just relax play the game and be the leader guy has three sacks you've got to do something to slow him down i would suggest a chip block Use a tight end to stay in to help out. Maybe a running back. Anything you can do to try to create any kind of confusion for this defender is something that's going to help you out. Florida State with a two-point advantage. Nice run, and he's brought down. Smith gets about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 50. Fires incomplete, knocked away. You know, nothing makes a defensive coordinator happier than seeing a corner make a play like that. Great technique, he's in position, he knocked that football away, and it's almost as if he's closing one side of the field down for this defense. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. He scrambled, and he has it on the corner. Diving for extra yardage. Nice play fake. Tackle made around the 12 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 12 yard line. Florida State is up two. Catches it and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They get a one yard loss on that one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's second and 11. Ball on the 13-yard line. Mike two. Watch two. Watch two. Ready. Watch and 
now he's got room to run. And he is drilled at the two-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. to the halfback open and he can't pull it in they're at the two second down touchdown Florida State there are some guys when they get near the goal line they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone that's what we saw right there Big extra point here. It'll put him up by two scores. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice 10 play, 54-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Bowers from the five, and he's taken down at the 30. It was a pretty disastrous last possession that ended in a safety. Let's see if they can improve on that. The defense is going to be coming out here on the field thinking they have their opponent's number. So somebody from this offense will have to show them something to get them to respect what they can do. Tackle at the 32. Louisville just took their first time out. About two minutes before halftime. And they make the stop at the 43 yard line. tries to buy some time and he dives forward and that was a nice pickup by the quarterback Brad, I think this guy is amazing he has an uncanny ability to scramble and it showed right there on that play from the 47 yard line it's first down completes it but he can't shake the defense that makes it second and six Fires that quickly, incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Got a man, watch out here. And he's tackled right around the 34. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. And they push him out at the 20. That's a team 14 yards on the play. First down. This is the eighth play of this drive. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. From the 20-yard line, second down. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down at the 11-yard line. Young makes the tackle at the 11-yard line. Kill, 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 kill. 
throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's level at the five-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it first and goal. Now he's scrambling. Brought down around the four-yard line. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Horned Frogs come in today's game ranked number six. And for TCU, they're creating quite a gap in this one. TCU has the edge, 24-10. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Turner they're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. Brooks from the six. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. So we've played two quarters. FSU leads it 9-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. quickly to the tailback. He's tackled at the 27th. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. He heaves it deep. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. That's a great tackle at the four-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. They're packed in tight on the line. 
They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the nine. They try running left. Gets to about the eight-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That makes us third and goal. it to the halfback on the screen. Tackled for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the ball. That brings us to the goal. So it's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Cardinal took the field ranked second and hoping to prove that they belonged in the number one spot. And for Ball State, they're in danger of dumping their third straight game, a 17-17 tie. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you could ever... Expect that to happen, though. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Turner fields it at the 7, gets to about the 27-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Florida State holds a field goal lead. Flips it, middle to the running back. He's taken down at the 35. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Three down, three down. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Zips it to the tight end, and down he goes at the 45-yard line. the 40. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Watch two. Watch two. Ready. Throws a strike over the middle. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. Florida State is up a field goal. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Mike two, Mike two. Let's go, deep. He makes it to the nine. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Here's the eighth play of the series.
tackle just outside the goal line. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's third and goal from the one, and they're trying to make this a two-possession ball game. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. He makes the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Cardinals come into the game ranked second. Feeling the heat from number three. And for Stanford, they continue their winning ways. And for Tyler, he grabbed one for a touchdown. The Cardinal grabs the W by a touchdown. Got a 10-point game, Reese, 16-6 right here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 16-6, FSU. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. On the throw, incomplete pass. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 23. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. McNair is the punter. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's going to be sacked. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Watch two. Watch two. Watch two. Uh, nice run up the middle. Smith gets six yards on the carry. That makes it 37. Weaver off the fake, and he almost has the INT. That brings us fourth and seven. Maxi is waiting for the snap. And he's tackled at the 31. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a t shirt that says finish. Finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They've got to execute better down closer to your opponent's territory. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. He's at midfield. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Yeah. 
a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. From the 48-yard line, second down. Fires complete over the middle. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Just under three to go in regulation. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. First down. He zips it, and he's tackled at the five. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Looks to a receiver, touchdown! The draw within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, off to University Park we go. And for SMU, they light the board first. The Mustangs are on top, 3-0. Field goal difference in this one, Reese, 16-13. Allen looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 29-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Throws complete. He's hammered. That play fake good for five yards. The defense wasn't fooled too much by the play action, but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver. Second down and five. Ball in the 34. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. Louisville's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Fires it out. Louisville will take their final timeout. So they get about four yards from play action. Bowers is back deep to return the punt. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. So, Kirk, here we go. Stratton's got center stage. This is what we've been waiting for to watch him try to lead his team to the go-ahead score. And I can't think of a better situation for this offense. I mean, they've got a chance to control this game late in the ball game with one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football in charge. He needs to take a deep breath and just relax and go through his progressions. This defense better dig in. This is going to be one exciting finish to this game. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. Second and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. That makes it third and three. just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. It's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it.
He's knocked out of bounds at about the 49. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. Just over a minute left. He's got his man across the middle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up seven and three. The spike will stop the clock. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. pass and he's level at the 41. Wow, what a battle and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. And the defense comes through. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Close and competitive all day long. And in the end, a low-scoring final, 16-13, Seminole. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.